look at these changing trees. More up here. Good morning from the northwestern suburbs of Chicago. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen leaves change colors in so long. This is so exciting. I am probably a little bit more excited than I should be, but oh my gosh, look at the ground. I'm like giddy right now. This is so beautiful and just what we were excited for. So like I said, I am in the northwestern suburbs of Chicago today to visit with my best friend Lauren and her baby Lucy. We haven't seen them in a while and so I'm super excited and then it's just like super beautiful up here and um, that makes me even more excited. Seeing who's gonna walk first. Who's it gonna be? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hi. <laughs> She's like, okay, I get out of your way. Go, 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 go. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. <laughs> Together. Guess who's home? Guess who's got a bunch of <laughs> wild bands in here. I missed James so much today. Sarah, I had meetings early this morning. Sarah went to go hang out with Lauren and Lucy. And so like I got up, had meetings while they were getting ready. And then I come out of the meetings and they're like, okay, bye. bye. And then they left. And then I worked all day and I missed my baby. Well, here we are. We went to Jules for him. Grilled cheese and tomato soup for dinner. And we like stumbled upon five dollar big box of donuts, so we got those two. Sorry for all the weirdness just now. My phone was not focusing. So I switched to the camera. Evie saw us in the window when we came up. She's actually wrapping her tail at us. Did you see what came in the mail? <gasps> Sarah went on the um, hunt for family winter pajamas and James was the first to arrive. No, these aren't. I never ended up finding ones that had all of our sizes. But did you order ones? Just for him. This is for like the day we get our Christmas pajamas. So where's, I don't have Christmas pajamas yet? Neither do I. Oh man. Oh man, because we did find one that had like a matching bandana for Eve, because yeah. isn't that adorable? Yeah, we'll figure it out. I just don't know. Bird's bees, man, like once they show their designs, you gotta get them. I'm going on um, a run later, and I'm going for six miles, and then like, after that it's truly like, breezing through the rest of the week. I gotta get a haircut this week, we gotta plan out the rest of the week because it's a running weekend. Ayo, James and I, playing in his ball pit. Because we've got his room more organized, we're trying to like, play in it more, to be active in it more, so he like, loves his room. P.S. Game plan, when the baby's here, we're thinking, new baby and guard get guards for this but honestly the new baby is going to be living with us for the duration i think of the time we're in this apartment so he can have the crib shake it shake it shake it dance 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 it watch this move
<laughs> Get him! We're gonna eat in Jamesy's room. I think these guys are having some fun. Ready for dinner? Yeah, look at my tower. Oh, I'm surprised he hasn't busted it by now. She has. Oh my gosh, we are watching The Headless Horseman. I don't know if I've ever truly watched this. It is scary. So me and James are gonna have a little Halloween movie night while Peter is out on his run. Um, if you can hear the music. We're watching It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. I honestly, I watched this a lot more as a kid and I haven't in a while. So this music like automatically goes Christmas for me. Um, but he's super into it right now. We're about to get jammies on, so don't mind the only socks look and the paper plate he found. He's into it. <sighs> a mobile baby yeah. is a different kind of baby. <laughs> I am about to go on a six mile run, which will be hey. now the longest between now, I think, and Sunday. Sunday's the marathon, if Chicago you were not aware. Friday is ACS dinner, Saturday is expo and some ACS fun, hopefully, it still is in the works, and then Sunday's the run. So today I'm doing like a dry run, which if you've never been in run, it's like you never want to introduce something new to your uh -huh. like environment, the day, like never have, never let race day be the day you're first trying something. So this is going to be the third time I've worn these Hoka Carbon X's with the carbon plate that my buddy Steve from Tampa wearing my new Chicago shorts with some like Under Armour shorts underneath and then an ACS singlet to make this sure this might be what he wears for the actual race. It's the only other thing I think would be I might get a different singlet. Mm -hmm. We reached out to our friends at ACS to see if they had some other col colors that they could hook us up with last minute. I don't think it clashes too bad. The blues, we were unsure if the blues went. You know what? This is all your call, kinda. <laughs> Because I'm not going to be looking at myself. I'm going to make sure this is comfortable, which I've already run this once before. And it's comfortable. He needs you. He needs you. He needs you. So let's go do oh. a dark six miles. Oh, you don't want me. You just want the <laughs> shoes. I'm going to do some detective work in James's room. Because it's constantly saying that there's motion been detected. And I'm like, is there a spider building a web? His fan is on, but it's blowing in like, not the direction of his crib. No spider. I don't know, spooky stuff. Look at these jammies. <gasps> this little Skeletitos book. <laughs> This little Dia de las Muertes baby. Out at Belmont Harbor. Just kind of soaking in all of the nighttime path. I'm doing six miles tonight, but I, I've like stopped a few times just to change the music or the videos I'm listening to. Kofuji's a big runner in Chicago, but he's a big marathon runner. And he does a lot of motivational stuff. So I've been listening to different music that means important to me different videos in my running career like ultra videos I've watched to give me motivation just to remind myself as this weekend comes is coming up how much running I've done over the years and even though this may not be my most primed race but like you know it's been three years three and a half years of running to get me to this this Chicago marathon delayed a whole year one of the best and worst years of my life and I'm just very it's gonna be a good weekend and I'm very grateful for my legs and for my body and for my family for supporting me and for you guys for supporting me and I'm just it's hit me that it's coming and I want it here I want to run this marathon but we still have a week of work we still have a week of preparing of tapering my run hydrating eating proper foods going to an expo getting my race day nutrition sent in it's shipped this morning it'll get here thursday to be nice and ready for i hope one of the best runs of my life like enjoyable runs the chicago marathon is different and we'll talk more i'll bring you on that race on the course then but it's just i mean i've never run it so i guess i don't know but i've been to it many times and i i'm 
very excited to be on the other side of this story now. I half came in here to see if the motion would stop, but it hasn't. Oh. Whoa. I'm gonna make a big mess before bed. So I think Nightmare Before Christmas will be our last movie of the night. Um, but I just, I love watching James play by himself. Like, I obviously love playing with him, but I know it's important for him to like, do things on his own, play on his own, but he loves it. Like, I feel like he's so small to already have like such an imagination, but like he truly, truly does. So I just try to like, catch him. Um, it's like one of those surreal things where I'm like watching him like, you have a baby. <laughs> um, but yeah, he made his way in here. Peter had the ball pit out earlier. Um, so maybe we'll play a little bit more and then wind down. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. Then you wanna have a baba and watch a movie? Relax and go nine Relax and go nine nine? Doesn't sound like it. <gasps> Another wavy night on the lake. Woo! Did not realize it was like this out, but it's got a nice breeze tonight. Look at that nighttime skyline. <sighs> I love this running path. Well, this is as close as I get tonight. But man, that isn't a beautiful city. I don't know what is. So, pretty excited to run through all the neighborhoods, or a good chunk of them, in just about six days. Very, very, very excited. He's in trance. Guys, we've been reading the this past is day, two nights. Day two. <laughs> we've decided to like allocate some time at the end of the night to kind of relax after James goes to sleep and read for like at least 30 minutes. We both want to read more. Sarah's That's a better good. reader than I am. I've not read many books, but I, I love the books that I do. Yeah. I burped. <laughs> um, so we're going to bed. I'm reading In Defense of Food. And I think this is going to be the book that puts us over the edge to go do uh, whole food. Mm -hmm. Not we keep talking necessarily... about it. And I, I know that, like, my, like, current feeling and nausea and aversions, like, highly affect what we eat. But, like, we were just talking about, like, simplifying it um, because it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think, I don't know if we'll go back plant-based. We might. I and mean, we've kind of been plant-based-y, kind of. We're plant-based at home. Home. I mean, we just made grilled cheese for dinner. Yeah. Like, we rarely have animal products just like in the kitchen. In the kitchen, and like not cooked. We like buy for like specific things. Um, but we definitely eat meat and cheese when we go out or yes. order out. Mm -hmm. um, so I mean, it's just the the more you read stuff like this, and the more like we're aware of it. It's, about when, the, it's oh, when we like that's when we make. The it's all about that whole food product. Because we know, we know. Get rid of those poly. Real. What are the uns? What is that called? What did uh, our teacher in high school hate? High fructose corn syrup. Oh yeah. Um, we booked something today, but we'll talk about that tomorrow. Also, I think we should push to get to a thousand dollars fundraise for Dopey. We're at five fifty. Okay. I think we should push all week prior to Chicago Marathon. So, if you can share our link, it'll be in the description mm -hmm. down below for our Dopey fundraising challenge for American Cancer Society. We're at five hundred and fifty dollars. I think we can get to a thousand by Sunday. Me too. So we appreciate your help in just sharing that message. And if you're able to donate, that's wonderful. It's, an, it's tax deductible. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously so helpful. I'll also put a link right here. I think it's on this side. Um, of when we went and talked to American Cancer Society about what classic. what the funds go to. We should, so do the, we should revamp that in the, in the world of COVID. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. 
We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.